Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Ken Fun. It's the Pillars of Earth series. This is still we're still on chapter one. Unfortunately, last time I was on a we when we finished where we finished off last time. Unfortunately, last week is what I was trying to say. Um, we was unable to due to powers beyond my control. But there we are. There we are. Anyway, um, we. I've got an episode for you this week, so hopefully um, those who have been following it can now keep up to date with what's been going on. So we need to find a letter in, somewhere around here. Um, I guess we've just got to look and search in the hope to find in this letter. Uh, tomes of history of poetry, I think. Uh, what's this? The bed. James slept here. Um... Simple table. This is a book, so should the letter be there? The writing here is strangely distorted and illegible. But it must be James's writing. Age can be a troublesome burden. Hmm. Okay. So what have we got there? A Bible. Well, I guess that may be a good place to hide a letter if you're going to hide one. Well, that, too obvious though, isn't it? Francis. No, nope. all right, probably ain't. <laughs> okay. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Okay, so we're going to read the letter now. Let's find out what that says. Inspect. Letter dated December 18th, 1135. Robert of Gloucestershire. Uh, name the day, and we will be ready to shed blood in the name of Empress Maud. I... And my brother uh, bondsman will ride against Stephen of Bolois. We do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stephen himself started started it the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took her throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him. Bartholomew, Bartholomew. Earl of Shiring. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Uh, the Bishop of Kingsbridge? Uh, why me? Um, okay, question. Bishop of Kingsbridge? The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. Francis is committing treason. Ask about Francis' motives. Hmm. Yeah. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My Lord the Earl of Gloucester can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Agree to Francis's plan or refuse to go to the bishop. Well, okay, so it's going to be... Um one way or another, could either could either go on this one. 
Um, well, it's our brother, so I think we could stick by him on this one. I mean, it might mean lying, Knuckles. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shirey? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? Ah, and there we go. End of chapter one, Philip. Um, what you did, you helped Francis to uncover a conspiracy against the king. You were nominated to become prior of Kingsbridge. You agreed to meet the bishop. You reported brother Marcus the thief. You knew about brother Paul's ornament, but did nothing to soothe his pain. So, all oh, right, so that could have been a decision or something I could have helped there. Um, Remigius still holds you in contempt. So we're not been free for that yet. Uh, you found a message in the mill. Okay, so let's... Um, well, as we have just come to the end of that one, and we're pretty much just started the video, so let's... Uh, or this episode, I should say. Um, let's continue on. Let's start chapter two. And let's see how... Uh, how we get on with that, and then... See how, much, see how far we can get into that, shall we? There we go. So chapter two... Jack. Okay, so it's going to be about um, whoever Jack is. Shoot, Forest. So is this Jack? I guess so. Usually. Hunt food for food. Current location, shoot forest. Right, okay. Oh, what's that down there? Probably not edible if it's... Oh, no. What is it? Or is it a... Yeah, boar. Dead boar. Going to be rotten meat, so that'd be no good to us. Oh, okay. Doesn't Didn't like that, did it? Okay, so we come around here. What we got? We've got deer marks. Oh, so a deer then, perhaps. Maybe we're going to hunt a deer or... What? Or even a rabbit, perhaps? Would rabbits be out this time? I don't know. Oh, what's this? My slingshot rarely misses. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a deer. Right. Well, let's use the slingshot then. Is it? Oh, it is loaded up. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, I've got a mini game. Oh. Oh, I hit it, but it ran off. Damn. All right. So maybe, maybe we get another chance, perhaps. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's try that again. So another mini game here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of necessary though, wasn't it? Um. Oh, where do we go? I'd rather not. You'd rather not what? I mean, which way do I go? Go around this side then. I guess. There we go. I'd rather not. Can you not do? Can you not? Oh, I was trying to throw the sling. Okay, I get it. <sighs> I was pushing. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for Mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The cave, okay. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. Hmm. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, 
Remember the verse, look it up. Um, well, look it up first and then remember it second. For him not a single thought remains. <sighs> For him not a single thought remains. Afternoon was approaching fast and Mother still hadn't returned. So, if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. Okay, so curing the meat, that may... Uh, soon, soon I will know it all by heart. Right, so what we got? Um, one book is in French. We got... Mother needs to chop more wood. Oh, what's this? Dry wood. Okay, so let's take the dry wood. Let's actually select that. Uh, what's this? Caves upon caves. There he is. Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me. Charles the Great, made by mother. Okay. So we put them, put the wood on their fire without doing anything. Smoke the meat. Is that what I'm doing? Good. It's warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. Wet wood. Where would I find wet wood? And take some. Right. Where do I find wet wood? my first deer okay ah inspect so we've got ah okay what we got uh Ellen's bow Ellen and Jack kept a variety of uh, short and long-range weapons in their home the two led their led their lives as outlaws outside of society and the protection of the law a bow can serve as an invulnerable tool both for hunting and self-protection most most outlaws were once accused of a crime but found to appear for judgment according to the law their contracts claimed and ownership then fell void as outlaws ha outlaws have no rights any anyone can harm them or capture them and turn them in thus many outlaws turn to a life of hiding and thievery okay so I need to get, where can I go? Can I get? Huh? Um, What's that? What is that noise coming from the forest? What's this? Uh, slingshot pieces, right. Twigs covered in snow. Oh, wait a minute. So let me take this, take these, because these are going to be damp now. So let's create smoke. Uh, wet twigs, perfect for smoking meat. Take those. Let's go back and smoke the meat, and then we can explore. Um, let's get the twigs. Mother there we go. Proud. Now, right. what's that noise? Right. Okay, so let's now leave this cave. Uh, oh, there we go. And off we trot. Could this be the same child that we see in the prologue with Tom and uh, Alf? I want to say Alpha or Alfred. The broken ice. Yeah, that's where Tom got the water from, wasn't it? So he tried boiling water for his wife. Can I can I go that way? There we go. Just struggles now and again, just trying to get like a. Oh, there's a horse. 
Oh wait, that's Francis, isn't it? That's that. Is it Paul's brother? Francis? The monk? And is this is this our mother? Is it? Good. He hasn't seen you. Who is he? A whip. That's what he is. A whip. That means he's someone bad. I told you about people like him. Remember? Um. Is he a monk? Is he a priest? What's that in his hand? Is he a bailiff? Is he a bailiff? He's a bailiff. She selected the wrong I'm one, but never mind. You go home and wait for me, little cub. I was hoping he was going to choose um, to choose. We knew he was a he, he was a monk. That's what I was trying to uh, get to, but never mind. Hopefully, that doesn't um, make any. Dis I don't. I don't think it's going to make too much problems for us at the end of the chapter when, when we get our little list of things. Right, but this we'll take this though. A bloody piece of cloth. Of course, that's the cloth that um, Tom put round the woman, his wife. What was her name? I think we've... I've forgotten her name now, but... Right, something was buried here. Let's have a look. What was buried... Well, we. I think we know what was buried there. <gasps> uh, something is afoot. Something is afoot. Right, look around. Right. That, is that it? anything I can't go that way Charles the Great made by mother um maybe that's gonna be saying oh we'll use later I don't know where are we going oh mother someone else could be could be the um the man, uh, the man what's his name Tom still nearby perhaps or is it or is it Francis right oh there we go it is him it's the it's we Tom no not Tom we can kill you too. Ah, so you're a pig thief killer, then. Where's you? the baby? Did you eat it? Yes, I ate it. I ate the. I ate a baby. Because I'm like baby back ribs. Yeah, I. I. I don't have the baby. I don't have the baby. Right. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. He he took the baby. I saw him take mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. Give me my book. Um, it was a monk or showed a cloak. Uh, well, we know about that, don't we? A monk took it. You know about the cloak thing. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? <laughs> Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Uh, my name's Grunt. <laughs> no, um, Jack. Jack? Do you live in these woods, Jack? Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone, but I cannot leave him to die either. But you did I leave him to, to die. Right. Will you help us? Uh, 
Snare or nod? Nod. You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. Right. Okay, right, so. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others forgot to be. Right. Okay, so what have we got? We got oh, triangle. That's going to give me ah. That's going to give me like an aerial view of the whole area. So we have we are near Ellen's cave. So Ellen. Oh, that's Ellen's. That's going to be his mum, right? And there's Kingsbridge there, village. Uh, we've got Bishop's Place, Shiring, and Earl's Castle, which seems to be the places that are highlighted, so that's what stood out the most. Um, there are other other things, but maybe they're to do with the rest of the books, or maybe the next chapters, I'm not sure. Either way, we need to make a decision on where do we go next. So, well, we only got one option, really, don't we? There, follow the monk's trail. The monk had crossed a small stream, or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. So the big man looked at me. Which way, boy? he asked. But I could only guess. So we don't actually know, but north would seem like the likeliest if that's where I would taken up if I knew the area and like he said the the village is the nearest place so maybe follow the river the stream led us to a more convenient crossing yeah. here one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water suddenly the boy called out he had spotted something on the other bank a set of fresh hoof prints he laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked Oh, so he spotted him instead of, yeah, Jack. So it was like a case of, well, you're not much of a tracker. Um, say nothing, admit his success. Uh, say, admit. I don't know. Okay. Admit. So we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. Yeah, I think it, I could have just said nothing really, but. Okay, so where do we go from here? We can only go. Oh, we can only go that way. We seem to be going back on backwards now. Oh. I was expecting them to go towards St. John, but yeah, there, we, there we are. It's not foggy now. What is it? He got us lost. Did you? No. Oh, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy, and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. Great, so he's left us alone. Right, um... With Alfred being as mean you as he is. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. Yeah. Shout it. And no tricks. <laughs> Yeah, be quiet, you. Right. Okay, so um, I think we've got quite far into this second chapter then. So what we'll do is I think we'll uh, actually end 
here so we could time to actually end and we'll come back again uh hopefully we will definitely come back again next week um so if you are joining us and you are catching up just on a regular basis thanks very much for joining us if you uh, liked this episode hit the like button if you disliked it there's a dislike is right next to that don't confuse them otherwise you might hit the wrong one that you intended for a little further along to that is a share button feel free to share of course let other people know who we are and what we are up to and of course if you are here for the first time then welcome don't forget to of course subscribe hit the notification bell then we once we upload anything you'll know by that little notification um and you can keep up to date with what we're doing on any of our, our other videos but uh, that is it for this episode as always whatever you do keep it funny until next time thanks very much for watching bye for now bye bye